We begin with that breaking news. A state of emergency in California as deadly fires explode across the state. President Trump ordering federal assistance to help with the disaster. Here's what we know right now. At least nine people are confirmed dead in Northern California where fast moving flames wiped out an entire town. More than 6,000 homes have been destroyed there. The fire now called the most destructive wildfire in the history of California. In Southern California, two major fires forcing the mandatory evacuations of more than 200,000 people, including the entire city of Malibu. We have team coverage on the ground. Let's begin with ABC's senior meteorologist Rob Marciano in Malibu and the weather conditions fueling those flames. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Eva. The weather conditions are not good, as you very well know. Malibu, a beautiful spot, one of the most beautiful in the country, but now it is up in flames. We are at the Pepperdine University campus overlooking the Pacific Ocean. You can see behind me flames just to the west and north of this campus, which has not been evacuated. Over 3,000 students and faculty remain on this campus, so there is a furious effort to not back the flames. They're actually using a fire hydrogen on the center of this lawn to fuel up these choppers, and they're coming in one, one out after the other to make night drop, something they don't usually do, but it tells you just how, how urgent this situation has become. The Woolsey fire now, over 30,000 acres burned. For more on that, let's get to Matt Gutman, who's live for us this morning. Good morning, Matt. And Rob, those firefighters are so stretched, they can't even get to fires like this. This is a multi-million dollar home uh, south of Calabasas, where we are right now. In fact, this entire neighborhood has been obliterated. All the mountains around here are scorched and not a firefighter in sight. That's how stretched they are across Southern California this morning. I want you to just take a quick look at this house. Um, that's actually the main part of this home. There's a tennis court over there, and this is just the garage. This is all that's left to burn in this particular home here. Overnight, those fires ousting hundreds of thousands of residents from their homes. Report of three people trapped in a house. People trapped in cars. There might be some injuries. A line of fires in Southern California turning homes to cinders, racing across the landscape faster than firefighters can contain them. Residents like Rebecca Hackett, desperate to outrun the flames, filming on Instagram as embers pelted her car. Please, God. Please let me out. I was really scared earlier. I was in shock. I definitely thought I was going to die. I thought I'm not going to make it out, but I just kept driving because I, I didn't know what else to do. Earlier officials ordering residents to evacuate in advance of the fires. So much chaos that Pepperdine University apparently given mixed messages, leaving 3,500 students in the fire zone. I went back to our room to get some blankets. All of them are okay this morning. But the aftermath here is apocalyptic. The Woolsey and Hill fires have grown to 40,000 acres in Ventura and Los Angeles counties. I'm fairly certain it's gone. We stayed long enough to see the flames almost encircle the house. Chaos. Fire engines everywhere. The houses near me were, were burning. Uh, embers were flowing all across my house. Fires forcing evacuations of star-studded neighborhoods like Malibu and Calabasas. With many celebrities posting to their social media accounts with their status, like Caitlyn Jenner on Instagram Friday, posting to her 9 million followers after news that her Malibu home likely burned down in the fire. Don't know if the house made it or not. And President Trump criticizing containment of the fires, tweeting, there is no reason for these massive, deadly, and costly forest fires in California, except that forest management is so poor. And again, Rob, you know, you get a sense of what firefighters are going through, the heat coming off of uh, just this garage burning right now and, and what's left of this house is absolutely intense. Now, where you are, you're probably seeing a lot of police cruisers, a lot of firefighters, but they can't be everywhere at once. And one of the problems that we are encountering, and firefighters as well, is that they haven't been able to count the numbers of homes destroyed and damaged. There are just so many of them to go through. Uh, they'll probably get to those numbers later today, and you can tell how dangerous some of these situations are. Rob. Well, absolutely, Matt. As you, as you imagine, it is a frantic effort right now just to protect structures, as we're seeing here on the campus of uh, Pepperdine University. This is a statewide event, though. It's been going on for days, and it started in Northern Car Ca California with the 
A largest, most destructive fire there with at least nine people dying in the campfire. Live for us this morning in Paradise, California, is Will Carr. Good morning, Will. Rob, there is a thick blanket of smoke across this area this morning as homes are still smoldering. A handful of those people who died in this fire were actually inside of their cars trying to race to safety, but it all just happened too fast. This is now the most destructive fire ever in California history as this community has been reduced to rubble. This morning, the death toll rising at the campfire. We now can confirm a total of nine fatalities. <laughs> The blaze ripping through 90,000 acres of land, destroying more than 6,000 homes in just a few hours. We're in a neighborhood surrounded by flames. You can see flames shooting out of the roof of this home. And then check out this tree right here. You have flames shooting hundreds of feet up into the air. This entire community is burned to the ground. Everything here is gone. We're just hoping right now that our home's going to be OK. You know how sometimes there's a home that's it's okay. We're hoping that that home is ours. We're about 95% sure our house is gone. This weekend, large parts of the community look like a bomb exploded, leaving only rubble and heartbreak behind. It's devastated. We're, we're grateful that we got people out as quickly as we did yesterday, but we have a lot to do to rebuild. 27,000 residents still under an evacuation order after many race to safety, braving roads surrounded by hellish flames. It was pure chaos when the fire swept through this area. You can see this car crash. Some drivers simply jumped out and ran for it. We have seen miles upon miles of charred cars. Nearly 25,000 without power in Butte County up north and close to 20,000 more powerless in Southern California. Parts of paradise now look more like a wasteland. Cars incinerated, homes destroyed, and animals helplessly roaming the streets, including this dog burned and confused, a highway patrolman stopping to help. Unbelievably, that highway patrolman lost his home in this fire, but he's still out there making a difference. As for the cause of this fire, the local utility company said they had a problem with a power line right before the fire broke out, but the official cause is still under investigation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.